Crossroads kids. It's great to be back together again. Whether you are online or here with us in the building, we are starting a brand new curriculum called Simply Loved. And for these first few weeks, we are going to be having the Bible point that God always loves us. In fact, today we're learning how in the beginning, God always loves us. From the very beginning of time, God was showing his deep love for me and for you. And one of the ways that he has shown his love for us is through his creation. God created a world that provides for us everything we need to live. So what I want you to do is grab your Bibles and I want you to open up to Genesis chapter one. You can read it by yourself. You can read it as a family. You can read it to your younger brothers and sisters. But I want you to read Genesis 1, 1 through 25 and take fresh eyes and look at the story of creation. Yeah, I know, lots of you are familiar with this story, but don't skip this part. Because every time we read God's word, we have an opportunity to learn something new about God. So before you start reading, I want you to pray and say, God, can you show me something brand new about how you love me in this story? Then when you come back and hit play again, you're gonna meet our Bible memory buddy, Savannah, the giraffe. She's going to be introducing our memory verse to the month. Then I'll be back again with you later. Get reading. <laughs> Hey there, friends. Glad I spotted you down there. I'm Savannah. And guess where I live? On the Savannah. You'll find me and my family on the open plains throughout a few countries on the continent of Africa. We giraffes like to hang out among the trees on the Savannah. Trees are my go-to hide-and-seek spot. Get it? Spot? Can't find me? You're getting closer. Here I am. Young giraffes are called calves, but they don't moo like those other calves. We love leaves. They're our favorite snack. And since giraffes are the tallest animals on the planet, it's a breeze to just reach up and grab a bite. Mmm, so good. My long neck reminds me of God's love. It keeps going and going. In the Bible, book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 18, it says, And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. God always loves us. You don't have to be super tall like me to see His love for you. God created the world for us to live in. We can read about it in the first book of the Bible called Genesis. Every single detail in our world is designed by God and created for us to enjoy. The sky, the water, the plants, and animals like me. God created the world and said it was good. So take a look around you. You can see God's love in the sky, you can hear God's love for you when birds sing in the trees outside. And you can even taste God's love when you eat your favorite food. Mmm. And you can share God's love too. When you see someone who's sad, your kindness shows God's love. Try to capture God's beautiful love and share it with someone today. It's a great way to spot a smile. <laughs> God always loves us. I'm so glad that our Creator made this beautiful world that gives us everything we need to live. God always loves us. That first sentence you read in Genesis said, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. But did you know that Jesus was there too? Jesus was there at the, cre at the creation. He was part of making sure that we had this beautiful world that gave us everything we need. And later, Jesus would come down to earth and he would show his love for us in an even more amazing way. But we'll get to that later. I hope you guys have a great week 
every time you are outside today, I want you to look at the blue sky differently. I want you to look at the trees and the grass. I want you to look at everything around you that God made and say, God, thank you for always loving me. Have a great week, and we'll see you again next time.